between now and then a prayer of St. G. The first month of the new year is not in gray winter or green spring. Everything starts with the grace of approaching death. Jesus himself was born in autumn, whereupon death would begin. The wind is rushing toward us, the end of all things appearing as winter. The winds of autumn push us toward it, so that the currents mix, curl, and swirl to a confusion of life. We only just appeared here, and now we are going. Lives faltering and inconclusive jolt into each other. A great upheaval and replacement was taking place among us. The old disappeared in the earth, disturbing new ones arose. The world had erupted upon us in simultaneous and unexpected ways. We had brilliant ideas, we had terrible ideas, but none suffused with the spirit which was first given to man. One immaculate conception was this child born to the death wind of autumn. He too was left to himself in the wild, safe in the communion of every moment with his father. In dark nights we lie on our bed listening to the sounds outside the window. The world goes on without us. There were not many true Christians among us. The name of God was acknowledged and then left hanging. The moon slips around in the dark like men are. Day and night came not to sim signify. We were as like to dream awful dreams in the night as faced in the day. Perhaps we reserved our emotions of the day to play out in sleep. We shall have to be content to recognize how limited are our powers to feel and to feel alive, to dream and to go forward to a better dream. If we knew that tomorrow afternoon the sun would flame up and consume the world, would we spend the time between now and then praising the beauty of your creation or would we sit in a darkened room cursing you with our last breath? If tomorrow we contracted an illness that would certainly kill us, how many different things would we feel? Would relief be at all prominent among them? We attempt to concoct an overall theory of fearlessness. Then upon us comes, perhaps from the far death wind of winter, another fear. We never entirely found peace. The year passes by the grow, growing and the wasting of the moons. The dead lie in their graves until the last soul. The soul of their bones has died. We above offer our bodies to whatever harm this place might wish to do to us. There was some proof of the malignity and indifference of the universe toward us. How long shall we live the natural life, which is all these mentioned things? If that the child of Nazareth all, Nazareth all his life faced death, but saw the joy of resurrected life, went fully to the Father's will, this too is the way for us. We believe your words which have come to us. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die.